Hey guys, welcome back to Minecraft. My name is Twitchy and we're playing on my server and last time we were building this wonderful creeper farm down here. Oh, I need to say hello to my friend. We are blessed with so many players on the server at the moment and I want also very blessed with the rate of this farm. I've gone around, I've done a little bit of trading so far, but look how much I have right now. And still, and still there is more to go. This is all wonderful. I've been trading for all sorts of stuff. People are like, oh, I haven't got any diamonds. I haven't got any iron. I'm like, I don't care. What have you got? Let's see what we can trade for. Mostly glass so far. Mostly glass. But, but my friends, I have some wonders to show you. Will you please come with me? Back in the nether, over by the path and the witch... Oh, I got a little disorientated, so we're swapping around like that. Over by the witch hut portal, we have this new portal here. Me, Miss Alina, and Mad Frank, we went on a little adventure the other day. An adventure of discovery and caves and spinny nausea. No, the spinny nausea wasn't there, but I do believe that maybe my shaders are not working amazingly. This is supposed to be underground right here, and there seems to be a lot of sunshine. But we have found some... I, I literally cannot show you guys in this. You can kind of see one over there. And let me tell you, there is another one just up there. We found a double skelly spawn. Oh, look, Mad Frank's down there right now. You know what? I'm going to I'm gonna just change the... Uh, it, it crashes me all the time at the moment. I'm not going to do that. I don't know. You get these things to be cool, and then the next thing you know, they're ruining your efforts to make a recording. Let me just run over here, and then we should be able to see. Okay, we've got a spawner block here, and you can see that there is a another floating platform of cobble over there. You'll have to take my word for it at the moment. That, that is also... Oh, yeah, there you go. You can see it. A spawner box over there. So we are going to make ourselves a nifty little tree farm in between two skelly spawners. That's right. They are two skelly spawners, which, let me tell you... Not too easy to come but come upon, uh, upon. Mad Frank's been making a sterling effort going around and ripping out all the stone from here. We pretty much cut, uh, ripped out this area here and the uh, area in between the two spawners last time I was here. But he's been going around doing a sterling job here. And I have brought some materials. I brought a little bit of dirt. I've got some pistons, some observers, a bunch of dispensers and some hoppers. That's right. It's tree farm time. Well, it's all done, but this place still sucks with shaders. Let me let me just get a second, guys. Well, that's a little unfortunate, but at least we can see now. Okay, so we have made a tree farm here. The observant ones of you might notice it is not quite the tree farm that we built in the time lapse. That's because we kind of had a little bit of a spacing issue here, and then when we tried the five high one, it turned out we needed to grow a four high tree. Because every now and then a four high tree would grow in the five high tree space and the observer wouldn't trigger and it all broke. Uh, we had to rebuild it a couple of times. It was good fun though. It was good fun. Uh, we also over here have made drop pits underneath both of the skelly spawners. This one doesn't trigger unless you like come up here somewhere. Um, the skeletons drop down. They burn on the magma. Uh, we could have put maybe a bit more of a drop down, but I am taking all the items up here via the wonder of um, minecart rails let's have a look down here there's a basic system going back and forth um hoppers normally only able to carry uh, pick up from the block above them but obviously look the rails they've got some thickness to them so it pushes the hopper up into the magma block and that's why we are able to grab items like that these uh minecarts they go up the rails here first thing i want to point out trapdoors guys trapdoors you can put rails on trapdoors it is amazing it is elegant it is beautiful I absolutely love it. Uh, the the items go... The, sorry, the minecarts go up the items and then use uh, the world's smallest item unloader. Is literally that comparator there. <coughs> excuse me. That comparator there into that block. There's a torch. Torch powers... 
this redstone dot which powers the rail. Uh, obviously, that means when there is items flowing through the hopper, it powers the comparator, turning all this lot off, which means the rail turns off. That means that's a break until all the stuff stops flowing out of the comparator when it powers back up again. Beautiful system, beautiful system. Just needed to invert the signal that comes out. Wonderful. That also happens over here. So two minecarts come up, two unloaders both go into this system. You can see I've got this lovely little arrow pointing into the hoppers. Where we come to our first item filter, this is sorting out the arrows. Now arrows, we could collect them, but with, there are other places to get arrows. And honestly, they're just a bit of a pain to me right here. So we have some lava down below. Also handy, handy little... Um, Suicide booth and trash can if you need that. But yeah, that's uh, that's arrows coming out of there and being got rid of. It then passes the items on the items that come out uh, to this hopper here where we have this circle stone set up. Now, this is like the item filter, but it's actually in reverse. Or at, least I, at least I'm thinking about it that it's in reverse. I don't know if you guys will actually agree with me there. But the flow of the items comes in across this way. And we've got this hopper underneath that's constantly trying to pull items out of the flow. But thankfully, we've got this little hookup of redstone here. The comparator here, when um, when the bones are going through, are just getting a little single dot, a, a signal strength of one. So it only comes through onto this. But when something like a bow or a piece of armor comes through, the signal strength gets bigger, uh, double lights up the, uh, the signal strength, turns that dot off, turns this uh, repeater off, unpowers the hopper, and can be pulled out. Uh, so that's pretty cool. That is uh, pretty, yeah, that, that, that's amazing. That makes sure that mostly all we get is a stream of bones through here. Every now and then, both minecarts will turn up at the same time, put in too many, uh, too many arrows, and sometimes, like literally twice the entire time we've been running it, uh, do we get a bone coming through. You probably want to see the tree farm actually working. We can do that. Uh, the tree farm itself is working. But of course, where we're going to keep the ghast has not quite been finalized. You know what? I could probably go and chop some of this down. Yeah, the location for the ghast has not quite been finalized. We know we're going to have it roughly there. Probably means this bit of glass is actually going to have to be a blast shield. And we're going to bring the, the, the logs, the logs along here, push them down, across, and upwards. I'm going to explain why we have to do it in that particular order later. Oh, it's actually all to do with where eye level is. Um, because the eye level is at the top of the ghast. We can, like, push them up in front of the ghast's mouth without breaking line of sight between player and ghast. Um, yeah, so that, that's, that's what we need to do there. But we're not going to be getting them until Tuesday. It's currently uh, Sunday? Monday? For me? Tomorrow or, or the day after? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I lost track of what day it is. Uh, we will be uh, doing a stream to go and catch the ghasts. Do you want to see what else we've been doing in the stream, though? Because, you know, this has not been my entire life. We have been doing some more stuff. Sand and gravel and a whole load of water dripping on my face. It could only be a water temple, couldn't it? Yes, indeed. Past a couple of streams, we have been coming down here. And by we, I mean, like, pretty much the entire server. It's been absolutely amazing down here. We've done the Cypher and Destiny's Dragon. We've had Cubic, Misaligned, obviously been coming on. Papa Trotsky stuck their face in. Mad Frank was down. Uh, we, yeah, it was. Uh, if I've forgotten your name, sorry. It was busy. Legit history. Uh, 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 yeah, there was there was a whole bunch of us. There was a whole bunch. But you can see a whole a great big deal has been done around here. Uh, Miss and Trotsky were doing like the outside edge around here. Cubic and myself and Destiny, of course, were down here doing the majority. This Destiny did like almost all of the segmenting down here. Um, sort of just before the stream, it was absolutely amazing. Maybe between streams, something like that. I can't remember exactly when, but so we have done. Uh, we have tried to do the underside first because, from personal experience, let me tell you that if you leave the underside here until after you've cleared everything out, it is, becomes an absolute pain. But we have done done wonders here. What what is going on around here? Oh, we gotta know what's going on. Mad Frank was coming down to see if he could. No, I, I thought I was gonna. I thought he was gonna be coming around uh, this way. So we've got some sections down here and down there. Unfortunately, Miss Aligned has run away with all the sponge, and she's not about today. Uh, I could. I. Sp Did you guys hear that? That sounded like a skeleton. Let's just. I, I can only assume they fell to the floor and died. I mean, I I have also fallen to the floor and died here. It, would it be? Would it? Would it have left a trace? I don't know. What was I talking about? Yeah, I thought Mad Frank was coming down here to um, get himself some prismarine shards. This has been something that a lot of people have been waiting on. Uh, that I think 
I think that's why everybody has been getting involved. Oh, look, squid, squid everywhere. Squid everywhere. Not squid. What are they called? The guardians. The guardians everywhere. Of course, as we remove the bottom layers, it's become a little bit more difficult uh, to go through these areas. Logged in and there was nothing here. Oh, oh he's having a little bit of um, a connection issue. No problem, though. Yeah, we've got a few of these areas, but we've also got areas that have had holes punched in them. Uh, so that's going to make it a little bit more difficult. But yeah, as we uh, we come through here and uh, put down some more of the segments, uh, it's getting more difficult as the lower levels have done. But we've also got areas like this, which I suppose there was no other way to deal with it if we were going to do the underside. But I really would have preferred if like areas like this had stayed filled. But, you know, whatever. As long as it all gets drained... It all gets drained. So I'm going to be spending a little bit of my time trying to segment this up here. Uh, make the whole place feel lovely. I'm going to jump into the bed while we're at it as well. And I will bring you back when we've got, well, I don't know, either some sort of farm or some, some progress, something to talk about. There comes a point in most big projects where it doesn't matter how much work you actually end up doing. It just doesn't look like anything actually got done. I spent about an hour down here going around doing some stuff. Oh, look, the ceiling just changed color on us. Wonderful. Uh, did you know this uh, this texture here is actually animated? It was more pronounced before the texture change. But if you keep an eye on this, maybe like watch a bit of sped up footage or something. This like pulses through a whole bunch of different colors. But yeah, look, this whole section over here now, we can walk through here and we come out this way and there's a whole load of stuff out here done. This is all good. There's now a bunch of lanes behind me, but that doesn't look like anything happened either. Do you know that there's like, oh, I don't know, 10 stacks of sand and gravel here? Probably more, actually. Man, are we taking out some stuff over here? If I just grab out this sponge, you know what? Let's let's go down here. Let's do this together. Relatively simple when you've got the sponge. Just got to make sure that you don't like leave bits behind like this. I, I was kind of hoping, actually, that we'd have a bit of a guardian fight while we're down here. Because that always adds a little bit of spice to what we're doing. There he is. Hi. How are you doing? Um, uh, this is the, actually quite the, sort of a, the awkward area to be draining, if you will. Because we've got all these sort of overhangs. Uh, but, thankfully, with all the sponge that we found ourselves, plus what we managed to grab off of Callum, we should be able... So, as I was saying, what we managed to grab out of the temple and what we got off of Brum should be all a good to just carry on slamming it down with not too much thought, as long as it doesn't flow back like that. And everything will work out cool. So, now all that needs to happen is you need to make sure that you didn't forget your uh, torches, because I have a couple of times found myself at the bottom of one of these sections here without any torches, and you just make your way out like that. I'm going to do that a couple more times, spend another hour here or so, and then I'm going to meet you back at the gas uh, tree farm, because we got to get ready to receive the ghast if we ever actually manage to catch it in that stream. i got to tell you, that's just rude. I spend an entire, entire section talking about how no matter how much you do in a project, it always looks the same, and then Mad Frank comes along, and in one evening does like half the project. I think he spent about 10 hours on last night going through the majority of this because i had the sponge in my inventory the majority of this he went around and uh did with sand just filling the whole area in and opening it out again i've got to say absolutely well done there it's uh both at the same time the greatest and the worst thing about working on a community server people just come along and do stuff this time worked out really well but i'm sure you can see the situations where that wouldn't be so great but yeah this time absolutely amazing should we go uh Let's go shower him with with cod, because I'm, I'm sure that's exactly... Oh, look, get this fight on. Let's just throw those there. Good good work, Mad Frank. Good work. So it's now Wednesday. We've had the Tuesday stream, and I have to make a small confession. We had a little bit of a fail. Wow, failure is a strong word. We caught the gas. We got it. There's another one to try. We got it in a to a minecart. Unfortunately, uh, we then got it into... Oh, or rather, onto a rail line. Sent it through a portal. We had some fun trying to get it into the actual portal. Uh, but the receiving station on the other side, turns out, wasn't quite perfect. And we ended up killing him. I really wish I had some minecarts on me. I could definitely go and get him right now if we did. Uh, maybe maybe that's something I'm going to go do right now. Grabbing... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't blow up my stuff. <laughs> I'm not worried about me, I'm worried about the torches. It's the only thing that's actually gas explodable on this build, and that was a problem. I don't know why I put them there. Honestly, that's that's just bad. The entire the entire place was built up to be gas resistant, and then I went and put these everywhere. It's not, it's not right. <laughs> so as you can see, this area around here took an awful bit of a beating. Everywhere that you see some cobble on the floor, a ghast ball came along and smacked the floor with incredible fury, blasting a hole into it. And then we had to 
punch a few more holes in there. In the stream, it had floated its way all the way over to this little flat bit over here. You can see it here. Um, and people were stood on the on the pathway, pulling it down with the fishing rod. And I managed to sneak on in under there, put down a rail and a car, and we got it caught here. But uh, as I say, we then uh, did a whole bunch of stuff to prepare it for the travel up to the portal over there. But unfortunately, we had this bit of powered rail over this side. You can see where there's a missing hole here. We had a solid block and it was being pushed back and forth here and uh, this obsidian line was actually one block further forwards uh, I think you can tell that this means that when it got stopped here it suffocated in the wall bad times I'm gonna blame man mad Frank because he was on this side uh, obviously it wasn't my design <clears throat> kind of was my design but you know we're gonna blame mad Frank because he was here so we've, we've, we've made this better we've made this better it's now got a system where it will stop on the outside as and when it can. I'm not sure if this will carry on going without a player here because obviously to keep the minecart moving it needs to be reloaded and then when the whole place is loaded back up again does it know which way to go? I don't know but I think that's actually old Minecraft issues not new. One thing you might notice around here is these egg based drop shafts that we have everywhere. This is obviously to uh, cycle through the pigmen because if the pigmen are here that means the gas aren't spawning but uh, I was kind of hoping I could show you one of them walking over there but obviously all the pigmen that are around here have already dropped into the egg shaft if they were going to do so and then we got just ones all the way over here i was uh, having a little fight out here a little while ago that that was fun and then they decided to swamp me i didn't quite die but i did have to run away in great panic <laughs> oh i jumped off the wrong bit i'm in lava i'm in lava ah i heard the noise and i jumped instantly all right there we go glass bottle has been done where where was he where was he he fired at me uh uh, I, I hear him still. I hear him still. The problem is they can fire at me from outside of the render distance, which I, I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if that's a server issue or something wrong with my client. I mean, it can't be my client. My client literally looks like, look, look at all that over there. I can see all the way where we came from. There's no way it's my client. Um, so I've, there's got to be something to do with the server settings. If I ever figure out what it is, I will check. Can, can I? Thank you. Uh, if I ever figure out what it is, I will change that. Right. I heard him. I can't hear him anymore. So there are currently a lot of pigmen in the nether around here, and I've kind of had enough. So over here we've got one of these drop shafts. This did have eggs on it, but for some reason the eggs got all taken away. But we've gone around and I've started uh, hitting a few of the pigmen in some sort of effort to try and get gas to spawn. But unfortunately we now have other people on the server, and this is where... Uh, basically, the spawn algorithm starts working against us. Though we are in natural unmodified terrain. So maybe we get the spawns? Maybe not. Uh, uh, the spawn algorithm has this tendency to just kind of randomly pick blocks around players. And obviously, where I've got like lit up blocks, that means that mobs can't spawn there. So it will then go and try one of the random places around Headcrab. Uh, and Headcrab's probably got caves and, and flat plains and stuff like that around him. So it will choose to spawn over there rather than around me but you know that's that's just speculation at this point i'm just kind of walking around being like ah okay are these guys these boys still angry at me these boys are still angry at me but that's no problem because one they can't really get to me and two i'm oh, just miles away whatever so i just went down picked up all the goods and got back up here look we got a whole gold ingot some 19 go uh, golden nuggets and a couple of swords to melt down that was super worth it Oh, 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 here we go, here we go, here we go. Come here, come here, come here. Yeah, that's okay. I don't mind if you blow... I can't, I can't actually reach him. Come on, yeah, I really want to go up there, really. Ideally. Oh, come on, come on. No, 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 no. I just need to throw this bit at you. Come on, buddy. Let's get down here. Let's go into this minecart. Let's do this, buddy. Let's do this. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. I knew this was going to happen eventually. This is why I've got another one here. Oh, man. Yeah. Whew. Okay. Well, that, that wasn't great. That wasn't great. This is one of the things that I uh, kind of suspected would happen. Now I need to try and get back out of here. Fill that hole in uh, and uh, just, just, just try and get him. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Uh, that's a uh, good, good, good placement. Let's do this. Uh, I don't really want to use all of these blocks because these are the ones that I'm going to use to cage him. But let's go this way. And all right, cool. Let's try this again. Is this another hole that I need to fill in? We're just going to keep filling in the holes with blast resistant blocks until we can get him. Okay, where's it? I can still hear him. I still. Still here. I'm going to try going up these stairs. The problem is, the problem that I have found is that when I go in directions to try and look for ghast and such forth, I normally end up chasing away from them, which I think I'm doing right now. Let's let's go back down. Let's go over to the other side. Let's see if they're over that way. I kind of think not, but it's worth going to look, right? 
I can't even hear him anymore. Oh no. Ah, this is the problem. This this is how it keeps going. Well, I'm going to say he's despawned his way out of my life. Again. <laughs> yeah, I've been out here for near enough exactly 40 minutes now since I first started talking to you. And of course, you know I was walking around and doing stuff uh, earlier without talking to you as well. But I'm getting in a little bit of a situation where I think there's too many pigmen around. Let's uh, let's go and try and deal with that. At the top here, we have uh, quite, quite a collection of pigmen. And I've got a feeling that I can deal with it if I just... Come up here, build myself a small walkway out. Is this far enough? I don't know if this is enough of a drop. That looks like it might be enough of a drop over there, though. Let's try and go out this way. Maybe we'll put a hole in the floor so that they can drop down properly. I'm going to now do one of these. We're going to bridge out by two. Break this block here. Here we go. Jump. Turn around. Do one of these. Okay, now. No. Oh, wait. Okay, let's try this. Hey, buddy. How you doing? I think I should be able to now back off here. And we're just going to watch everyone come right... Yeah, you as well. Come on. Are you... You're stuck? Are you stuck? You are kind of stuck. All right, let's... Let's take care of you. You can path find your way around, right? Oh, my... Bye. They're dead? They are dead. All right, this is good. Everyone should be able to make their way... No, that's not good enough, man. That's not good enough. Okay, so now that we've caused a little bit of trouble, let's go see if these guys also want to cause trouble. Hey, it's a baby coming at me at full speed, so we've got to kind of deal with this quickly. We come over here. We make a jump for the block. Ooh. Hey, man. How you doing? <laughs> cool. What I'm really interested in is those guys down there, obviously. Now, are these these guys just not interested in me? Is that what was happening there? Oh, they're, they're following me at a discreet distance. That's what's going on there. That's fine. That's fine. Because I want to come down here and I saw a whole bunch of guys at the bottom and I want to lead them back up the path. Uh, now, the fact that these two are following me is a little awkward. Hey, are you angry with me? These guys aren't actually angry with me. I really thought they would be. Um, oh, yeah, here we go. All right. Everyone has got angry. This is good. This is good. I am on the wrong side of the slope. I'm just going to kind of take these guys around up the stairs and try and find a way... Uh, ooh, to not get killed. Ah. <laughs> okay, is this going to work? Is this going to work? I hope so. Yeah, they can all path find their way up here. I'm going to just slowly back up. Back up, back up. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I want to, like, throw something like this down just to give them a bit of a, a wait for the people at the back, right? Just had horrible thoughts of being jumped on from a top. But now we go... Bloop. And we let these guys through here. That baby is actually going to have me, is it? Um, let's come over here. All right, here we go. Big jump. Oh! <laughs> Bye. All right, all of these should hopefully now just be on their way to fun times. Some of them made it. Oh, no. But that's fun. Hey, what? what, what? Oh, over this way. Over, over, over this way. What? Why would you? Oh, what is wrong with these people? Okay, we're at the point where all the pigmen in the local area are chill with me now. We've killed all the angry ones. But that means that new pigmen have been spawning and we've not been getting any ghast. That's a little saddening, but also, eh, it's good fun. Oh, this one's angry. Oh, man, I was just doing a loop around to try and induce the spawn rates. But if this one's angry, I am going to come down here and sort this lot out. Come on, we can do this. We can do it. Like you, be angry. <laughs> Running away. <laughs> Right, are these guys angry? Are these guys angry? You got you guys gonna need to be angry with me too. There we go. Yeah, everybody's angry with me. Okay, this is good, this is good, this is good. I know it doesn't seem particularly great, but it is good. It is good. Ooh. Oh no, that that's the shot I wanted. That's the shot I wanted. Here we go. Come on, guys, fall in the pit! Hype. I mean, seriously, buddy, the eggs are just over there. How is this so far that you don't know? Like, how about if I walk over this way? Does this make your line of sight intersect? No, you're just not interested. Just not interested. We need to have more of these spread around, I think. There is just far, far too many gaps for the pigment to be hiding in. And I think maybe that I'm going to stop looking for the gas at the moment. I have spent about an hour walking around here having a look. I have had... Three opportunities. I mean, really, only one of them was the actual opportunity, the one down there. And then a couple of guys just kind of sniped me from a distance before I even saw them. But I'm counting those as opportunities. Of course, like, this is fun. Uh, who doesn't like getting pigmen angry? Uh, let's let's just wait, see who appears. I, I kind, of think, kind of think we want to go around and get as many different pigmen as we can. I'm going to end up leading these guys down to a kill pit let's how about you guys are you you also angry yeah you guys are also angry this is good hopefully we're not going to get trapped in that's where i want to take them but obviously we are one layer too high i'm going to walk these guys around as you can see you can actually literally just like 
walk these guys around and it's all fine. Uh, and we will go to the bridge and take a walk, wander back. Oh, I don't like the fact that you are not... There we go. Moving very well. I could tell that was lag. Um... Because, you know, pigmen generally, when they're chasing you, they don't stand still. They might be slow, but they do not stand still. Okay, I'm going to do a little circle around this corner here. Try and entice the majority of them. <laughs> how, how about this way, guys? How about this way? Is this better? How, uh, can I put that there? Yeah, come on. All right, let's 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 go, man. Let's go. We got this. We got this. All of you guys follow. Ooh, hey, hey, hey. All of you guys follow me. <laughs> We're going on an adventure. This guy's going to be awkward. You're in my way. Get out of the way. All right, cool. No worries. No, worries. I like having a high power sword when you're doing things like this because obviously, occasionally, you do need to take out the odd pigment that gets a little bit overzealous, uh, particularly the babies. Like, the babies can just creep up on you before you even know what's going on. But like leading any good animal around, if you just walk and take your time, um, think about what you're doing, you can... Uh, you can lead them anywhere you want, really. Is, is he just not in? Are you new, bo new boy? Are you new? Are you literally spawned in since those guys died? Looks like it. Hey, hey, excuse me. Yeah, no, he's looking at me and everything. He's not interested. Look, you see the XP from your fallen brethren? Not interested. All right. <laughs> <gasps> I hear one. Uh, this is not the best place. I was just about to come down and be like, hey, we earned all this stuff. Over half a stack of nuggets, two gold ingots. And a bunch of swords that we can uh, melt down. But we've just killed all the pigmen. And that means other things are spawning in. Let's get up here and have a look. Okay, cautious. Oh, that, where you were would have been much better. This is like the worst place to try and catch it as well. We are so far away. But if I can get it, I'm going to do so. Please don't. So low down. So low down. Hmm, what's the play here, guys? What's the play? I'm not entirely certain. We need to go and slam down some uh, minecarts around here. Like, even here will do. Hey, how you doing? Let's go. Oh, no, you're too far away. Oh, come on. Come on. You've got to capture him. Yes. Yes. No. Yep, yep, yep. Did you blow my minecart? You didn't, but it's in the wrong place. All right, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Yeah, get in that corner. Get in that corner. Uh, put that down there. You, you. Ah. Uh, come on. Come on. Hook it. Hook it. Hook it. Ah, come on. This is so bad. Ah, uh, why? 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 Look, this was so good. Right, you, come on, come on. This is this is why I need another player to... Oh, I broke my... Fishing rods, okay, cool. All right, all right, it's a waste of time at this point. Let's go and build a pillar somewhere and hopefully they will come and come back. No, no point fighting when they're that far away. Okay, let's keep looking around and coming back. Oh, God, you see, you see what I'm saying? Like, this is not... Where? Where? This is not an easy task. There. Just going to keep moving around until hopefully he comes a little closer. I believe they move totally randomly, uh, which, you know, isn't isn't the best. I've lost him. Dang it. Under the lava, question mark? Yeah, look, there he is. There's just no way. There's just no way. We haven't been in the nether for long enough that endermen are becoming a common spawn. I mean, like, wow. <laughs> Look at all the angry nether pig boys. I'm kind of okay with this. I would have preferred it if there was somewhere with a drop shaft that I could, like, slam out like a cross over that way. Like, this looks like the proper place where one could be achieved as well. Oh, no. Headcrab has been killed by a zombie. Big shame, man. Big shame. But, yeah, let's, uh... <sighs> I don't know what we're going to do about these, actually. <laughs> Oh, it's close. Oh, they're so close to me. I'm very, very careful because if I stand on this egg, uh, we can break it. We can break it. So I need to make sure that my my hitbox stays off it. I'm a little bit worried that these guys are going to hit me, but it, it seems all right. Seems all right. So that was a, a good number of pigmen kills there. Goodbye. Uh, I wonder if that's induced the ghast spawn anywhere or even if that's all the angry boys. Look, look, there's more angry boys up there. Let's go and get them. Oh, that guy had flame on his sword. Wow. Yeah, I'm not going to let him touch me again. Ow, that, that hurt, that hurt. All right, let's get back to the area over here. I'm still, 
super scared of breaking this. I don't. I really don't want to. Uh, that and then huh, like that. Oh no, I'm up. Oh no, 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 no. To get down. There we go. All right. Okay. We're, I think. I think we're good. Please. I think we're good. Ah, so when I was talking to Mad Frank about this particular venture, uh, we were talking about how hard it is going to be to get the minecarts down in front of the gas in time. As you saw, that was particularly my trouble over in that area over there. And it was, he was like, why don't you just put uh, rail all over the nether? And I was like, that will never work. Plus, also, you'll take up all the spawning spaces. Blah, 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 poo, poo, right? You know, turns out. Maybe he was right. I seem to be putting down bits of rail absolutely everywhere anyway, so maybe that is what I should have done. Well, we are look at the time, guys. A half hour episode. Now, this is a thing that I don't do very often. And actually, now that we are here, I'd like a little bit of feedback on that. Longer episodes. Yay, nay. A little bit too long, a little bit too short. Did you actually always secretly want a half hour episode but were too afraid to tell me? Now's the time to voice that opinion. But we started two massive projects today. Well, this week, rather. We have got an ocean monument on the go that we're busy turning into a farm. And we have the double skelly spawner tree farm over there, which, of course, is the whole reason we have been trying to catch a ghast here. I would like to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. And I will see you guys next time when we're going to hopefully have at least one of these done on um, Thursday night stream tonight. So I'm hoping that we can catch the ghast and I'll come back with lots of good news for you. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!